We told you we'd keep an eye on our four local school districts that threatened students with punishment if they walked out of class. And Ryan Kruger joins us now with some details. Ryan, despite the threats, we saw some of the biggest protests in those counties. Yeah, that's right, Vinny. And on their way out the door, students are telling me they were met by administrators strongly hinting they will be facing repercussions. But tonight, it's not clear what those repercussions are going to be. It was kind of awkward because people didn't really know what to expect. High school students in Cobb County describe an unusual scene as they walked out in front of school administrators, fully knowing they will be facing some sort of punishment. Principal did come on the intercom and said that there will be punishments, there will be consequences. We reached out to every major school district in the area, and these four districts, Cobb, Gwinnett, Bartow, and Fayette, told us that walkouts would be considered unexcused absences. We even received reports of school officials blocking the doors at some schools in those counties. However, school officials are telling us that's not true. They do admit that school administrators were telling kids not to go outside as the school districts didn't condone the walkouts. Over at Bartow and Fayette counties, I'm told there were no suspensions and that alternative protests were offered. Like at this Bartow County school, students signed these letters honoring the 17 people killed in the Parkland shooting. And school administrators were also hinting at these students that these kind of walkouts might impact their future education, i.e. if they have any of these uh, flags on their grades as they go to college. But again, we've been reaching out to school officials. They've been very vague about what kinds of punishments might be handed down. Vinny? All right. Thanks so much, Ryan. Millions of people are still talking about the national walkout tonight on Facebook, Twitter, and other social media sites. We've posted a gallery of Georgia students taking part. It's all on 11alive.com. And we're going to stay on top of the story as students, teachers, and allies prepare for next weekend's March for Our Lives in Washington, D.C. All the walkouts.